Ladies and gentlemen, how's it going? Once again, I'm Ned from Nestec, which otherwise known as your friendly neighborhood basement dweller. But don't worry, ma'am, I am from the internet, and today we're going to be testing out a ThinkPad L14 with an 11th generation Intel Core i5. Look at that sticker, so postmodern. <clears throat> it's just from the future, what can I say? So, honestly, this pretty much looks like most other ThinkPads that I've had. And, uh, oh, it's interesting. We got the camera here. We got the little red dot to say that the camera is closed. Everyone's so worried about the cameras. Nobody's worried about the microphones. Uh, maybe that'll change. Anyways, we got the standard kind of plastic -y. Feels pretty warm, uh, pretty cool over here. That must be something generating a bit of heat over there. But anyways, nice big trackpad. Not too big to be uh, too crazy. And of course, a little red dot that some people use religiously and some people use not at all. This is a, uh, hmm, relatively light unit. Everybody's always worried about the keyboard flex. There's some flex on it. It's not really dramatic, and I don't really understand why some people are very worried about it. Definitely. Oh, it's a touchscreen. It is. Okay. Nice, nice. That's always a, a welcome addition. So, over here we got the uh, Lenovo top. Oh, no, Miss Mary. Anyways, on plugger, the plug is USB-C, 65 watt. Over here on the left, we have uh, the USB-C power. We have a uh, place for the hardwire cable connector, if you want to use that one. USB, um, HDMI, oh, micro SD. Oh, thank God. Thank God they actually gave it to us. The Cat5, Cat6, you know what I mean, Ethernet. Single unit headset second usb plug-in and the cpu fan over at the side not a whole lot going on at the top over at the back we can see that we have the screws which means we can probably upgrade this thing relatively easily next up let's get into oh everybody always wants to know about how well it does light gotta say not too bad not too bad so the screen is pretty smooth it looks relatively difficult to get slimy fingers on to okay so right out of the box we got eight gigabyte ram 11 generation core i7 chip looks like we got four cores and eight threads and of course we got the uh intel iris xe graphics next up let's try a pass mark performance test 10 and we'll see the benchmark of course i'll be right back when it gets to the uh visual part all right so we've got the screaming eagles going by at uh 21 frames per second which is really good direct x9 of course it's coming up next direct x10 we got the space trees going by at 12 frames per second. I'm pretty happy with this considering the money that I paid for this unit. Not bad at all. Oh, that is not bad at all. Next up, we have DirectX 11. That's uh, between 11 and 30 frames per second. Let's just see that tilt, how smooth. That is really smooth tilt, I gotta say. Not so bad. Not so bad. And here we have DirectX 12 rocking out at about 20 frames per second. Only getting penalized at about uh, 8.43 frames. Moving pretty smoothly. I gotta say, not so bad. Not so bad. Pretty smooth. All right, well, I gotta say, that score definitely kind of blows me away. It's not even uh, 1,500. Okay, so I won another round, and I definitely got a much better score. This is comparable to a Z210i7. All right, next up, let's check out some Fortnite. We're on the bus, rocking it on the bus in performance mode at about, uh, geez, 100 frames per second. In the bus, that bus is looking good. Descending at, geez, about 14 frames per second. I'm not liking that too much. So I'm hitting the ground running at generally about 15, or sorry, 60 frames per second. Next up here, we're trying out some Grand Theft Auto, and this stuff is pretty choppy, I gotta say. It uh, could be better, but it'll get you by in a pinch if you absolutely super need to. But it's definitely not full screen. Somewhat playable, if you're a very patient person. So now let's open this sucker up and see what's on the inside, shall we? As previously mentioned, we have multiple Phillips head screws, so I'm just going to pop those out and use a guitar pick to uh, pop the bottom of the unit out. 
All right, so here's what we got under the hood. Teeny tiny, unbelievably adorable little speakers. Look how cute. Interesting. We have a little section just over here that takes up where the hard drive would be with uh, an M.2 SSD. Over here we have the Lenovo battery pack and two slots for RAM. EDR4, of course, only one being taken up. Spot here for... I believe that's M SATA. And then we have the Wi-Fi. Here we have the CPU, GPU. If there was to be a GPU, it would be right here, it looks like. And of course, the metal that goes right across it, bringing it over to the CPU fan. And that's what we got going on in here, folks. Uh, not much else. I think this is intriguing. I like that. Anyways, so that's it for me. Enough from the Aztec Picture Friendly Neighborhood Basement Dweller. Hit like and subscribe if you like this stuff. It's always appreciated, folks. And as always, take care of each other, will you folks?